Before we go into the demo, I'd like to go through what we have in our environment. In the production site, on the left, we have a set of SQL Server VMs and an ESX cluster connected to a Clarion CX4960 array. And on the right, we have their replicas, using a recover point to replicate the data to the recovery site, which also has a Clarion CX4960 array. So in this demo, a virtualized SQL Server database will have a crash consistent replica mounted to a host on a recovery site. Here we see the TPCE database on the production SQL Server. And on the remote site, we see the SQL Server without any database attached. Replication Manager is the only interface required by the user. From here we choose application sets, we right click the job and we mount the replica. We choose a CRR copy of the database and select a specific point in time from which to mount the database. Here we can see choosing a time of 16.30 and assigning the name to this point in time. Here we choose the host on which to mount the database namely TCE SQL DR SQL 2. We leave the PAT options at their default setting of C backslash RM mounts and we set the recovery type to recovery choosing to recover all databases by setting the recovery type to recovery this will instruct the restore operation to roll back any uncommitted transactions after recovery process the database is then ready for use We put in our credentials for our SQL Server database. We leave the other mount options as default. As you can see, you have the option in there to mount the replica as read only. Click on finish. From within the job window, you can see all the automated tasks being performed by Replication Manager. Doing a rescan of the VMFS file systems on the ESX server. We can see the database volumes being mounted to the mount host on the recovery site. So, from within the mount host, TCSQL DRSQL2, we can now see after doing a refresh that TPC database is mounted. The TPC database is mounted successfully to the remote site and can now be used for tasks such as backup, reporting or testing. Thank you for taking the time to view our demo. If you're looking for the full solution you can find it on emc.com